Hey, what's going on, guys? How you all doing tonight? Um, or I should say, how you doing today? Getting a little sunshine here, just uh, left over in the, in the late day. What a beautiful day it was outside. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. So, I want to give you guys a quick update. I am uh, doing really well today. I'm like up over 5,600, I think it is. Uh, just by projecting numbers, I'm probably going to have seven or $8,000 a day, I think. Um, that's mainly off of just... Uh, just one item, but I do sell a couple little things, but my other items sold out. It's crazy. It, I had like, uh, I didn't expect it, but I had like 47 sales in like two days, which was great. I was selling like 13, 14, 15 a day, and then I just I just blew it out at the end. So I did order it again. Just felt like I had to. It's making money. Um, you know, I'm not going to not reorder it if it's making me money. So I did that. Um, as far as uh, I have a couple new products coming in. Should get shipped out tonight. Um, that should be nice. I really believe in these things. I think they're going to do well. So right now, just mainly doing most of my sales with two products. But I do have two more coming in. I think they're going to blow it out of the water. Um, yeah, so I've been busy. I've been building the website out. Uh, it's almost done. I spent all day yesterday doing that. Um I have, uh, I've just quit drop shipping, man. I lost like five, six hundred bucks drop shipping. Uh, my supplier didn't meet any of the orders, and I just, I lost money on Facebook ads. It was an absolute disaster. I'll have to tell you guys sometime, but what a disaster that was. Uh, I even was even shipping from a USA warehouse, but he was lying to me. He was shipping from China. It was all a bunch of just garbage. So I lost money there, unfortunately. Um, but you live and you learn. Uh, another cool thing I wanted to talk about, I got a virtual assistant I just hired with a buddy of mine um, to help us out. So we're trying to get more into the wholesale. So she's actually doing the uh, the research and she's doing the, the emailing and she's, she's doing all the hard work basically um, while I do all the other work I have to do. I have so much to do. But yeah, you know, you can get a virtual assistant um, pretty inexpensively. Now we're gonna treat her right. If she, you know, she makes us money, makes us a profit, helps us out with her business, we're we're gonna give her some bonuses. Um, and we kind of give a little one to start. But I mean, you can get, you know, a virtual assistant even part time for a few hundred bucks a month. No joke. Um, I think we're paying her like four hundred bucks a month, and then we're gonna give her some bonuses if she, you know, comes through and does a nice job. Um, so yeah, definitely that's very cool. I hope that takes some of the stress off of me. I'm training her. I'm going to teach her how to do kind of my job, kind of what I do that way, you know, she can kind of take care of that end of it. Um, but honestly, most of what I do is passive. I mean, uh, but I'm always dealing with some kind of issue, whether it be, you know, that whole suspension kind of threw me off. But if, I, if I'm always, I was dealing with something, whether it's shipping or just trying to push the envelope, trying to get it, get it. I have a sense of urgency. I want to get it in. I want to get stuff done. And, you know, I probably come off bad to, to suppliers and stuff because I'm just always in a, a rush. But then I'm limited by cash flow. So there's a lot of different things that, you know, limit what you want to do. It's not just um, it's not just that, you know, you can just go, go, go. You need the money. You need the cash flow to do it. And it's a risk, but it's it's worth it to me. I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm really blessed. Uh, I'm doing great lately with my sales. Again, I should... Hopefully, if everything goes well, make about thirty thousand this month just on, just off of one product. That's not including my sales from the other product, but I should make over thirty thousand dollars in one month profit, which is awesome. Um, hoping to get stuff back in quickly so I don't lose too much rank. Uh, I've reordered that one, even though I don't love it. Uh, like I said, I sold forty-seven in two days, so you know I might as well do it. You know, you want quality products. It does have over four stars, so it's not horrible. Um, it's making me money. I put a lot of time and effort into it, so I might as well reorder it. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I've sold over a thousand of those since January, and then I'm pushing. I'm going to order 500 more. I should probably order more, but I don't know. The, the, the turnover is pretty fast, and uh, my supplier can get them over here pretty quickly. So you know, um, if I order 500, I'll probably be able to sell a couple hundred and then order 500 more if I feel like it's it's going well. So. Yeah, it's making me about a thousand a month. I really can't. 
I really can't. Why, why wouldn't I reorder it, right? It's just it's making me money. I just don't want to get bad reviews from it. That's the big thing. But, you know, it's doing well. So I put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm going to keep it. So, yeah, I got a couple of new products coming out. I'm working on another. Uh, all in kind of the same niche. But the, there's the other products not in the same niche. I'm building two separate brands out. So I want to start building the other brand out too. But, again, I'm going to run into cash flow issues again because the products I'm ordering are very expensive. I think I'm spending like 45000 on products. So it's starting to get real. It's starting to get real big. It's starting to get uh, just huge, the whole thing. And I'm excited about it, you know, but it's also nerve-wracking. Um, on top of that, I've been doing eBay. So I've been taking orders out every day. I, I really hate putting stuff, orders together. I know that sounds spoiled to me, but, um, you know, like, Packing orders up and doing all that crap, man. Let Amazon do that. Like, if you can get, you know, Amazon to do that or get a, a fulfilled warehouse. So it doesn't have to be Amazon. But most of you, I've talked about it, you can use Amazon's warehouse as a fulfillment warehouse. So what I mean by that is you can fulfill your e-commerce orders. You can fulfill your eBay orders. Your, excuse me, uh, wherever, like Mercari or wherever. You can fulfill those orders through a warehouse like sh Ship, uh, what is it? I talked to somebody about that, about ship, uh, ship, shipper, I forget the name of it. But anyway, Amazon Warehouse does the same thing. So you can fulfill all of your orders through there. So you don't have to pack any of that, do any of that. Yeah, there is a fee. But when you look at the shipping, it's really not much more, if not the same price, as what you would pay for the shipping and ship it out of your own house. So why are you going to go do all that when you can ship it into them if it's like wholesale? I'm not talking about like if you're going to a garage sale and buying stuff. I understand you're going to ship it out of your garage then, but... Let a, let a warehouse do the work. Like let so, they do it. That's what they're made to do. It's like trying to trying to fix something in your house when you have no idea, and it takes you a day when it would take a professional like an hour. You know, like let the professionals do it, do their job, and go do something else more productive with your time, or go go enjoy yourself. You know. Um, but yeah, that being said, I am constantly working on new stuff, guys. I'm not sitting on my butt. It is largely passive. Yeah, I'm making thousands a day sitting, but. I'm not sitting. I'm working. I'm grinding every day. That's what I do. I grind every day. I'll grind for 20 bucks if that's what it takes. I'll give you an example. I just literally just made 20 bucks. I bought a huge mirror. I didn't realize how big it was. I bought it off an auction site. Um, I brought it back. I put it on fa uh, Facebook flea market. I bought it for like 37. I sold it for 60. So, you know, I made 20 some bucks. Hey, I, that covered my trip. Covered my gas, some of my time to drive up there and get it. Plus, I bought a lot of other stuff that I'm trying to sell as well. But, you know, look, grind it out. You know, if you don't have the money, grind it out and make that money. You know, and then once you, once you get it, then try to do a private label product if that's what you want to do. Or do some wholesale. You know, you guys got to want this. You got you to be hungry for it. Um, you know, you can't just, just sit around and expect it to come to you. There's no easy button, you know. You can't just push the easy button and everything comes to you. It doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. If you want something, if you're going to put money into something, you better be ready to invest your time into it too because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take your time. Um, once you get to a point where you can get some passive income, that's great. But a lot of times you're not going to find products that make you 20, 30 bucks a day when you're successful, and that's a big feat. Believe me, that, that adds up if you get five of those, right? But you know, to get to that point, it takes a lot of time and effort. It's not passive getting there. But once you're there, it could be, and once you get established – but it doesn't just come to you necessarily. I mean, uh, there's so much work I put in. I've dedicated my life to this. I love doing it, though. I enjoy it, and it's it's what I want to do. Um, I do enjoy my job, what I do now. Um, you know, and I might just do that part-time and, and for some security as well. But eventually here in the next couple months, I'm, I'm potentially going to be, you know, moving on and, and doing my own business. So um, I've worked hard. I'm proud of myself, but at the same time, I'm blessed. And, you know, the man upstairs, uh, that's who I have to thank. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that, you know, what I think about when I'm doing all this, you know, I always like, when I was younger, I always, I always heard about people having visions like bodybuilders. They would talk about like, you know, what drives them. Like they just said that they'd have this picture in their head of, you know, um, of being the biggest or strongest guy and they just had, they had a vision they had a dream right and i think it's just innate like what i mean is like i don't think you can necessarily create that i think whatever you enjoy and love to do um i think you're gonna see a vision or a motivation now my motivation 
is I see myself sitting on the beach with my kids and my family just chilling out and, and spending a couple weeks and just having a great time, not having to worry about the stress of everyday life. Um, I think about getting up in the morning and not have to go in through the rush hour and just getting on my laptop, drinking a coffee and just kind of doing my thing, not having to worry about, you know, going through the grind and punching a clock. You know, I think about uh, making a better life for me and my family. I mean, these things are just there, you know, they're innate and I enjoy doing this. And I, I just, that's my motivation. Um, I have a chip on my shoulder too, because so many places I applied for sales jobs in the past or applied for positions in the past, they wouldn't even give me a time of day. They wouldn't call me back, wouldn't give me like another interview, didn't even let me know I didn't get the job. You know, like I believe I have some, I have drive, man. I have, I have potential I can bring to the table. At least I believe that. Um, but nobody else believed in me. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have a good interview. I, I come out of some of those interviews thinking, man, I had a great interview. And I never got a call back. I was so disappointed. Um, so, you know, I have a chip on my shoulder when I do this. I really do. Um, I want to, you know, and all the people that, like, give you that look, right? Or that laugh at you when you think, there's no way this guy's going to be able to do this. Yeah, right. He's going to make a full-time living selling on Amazon or selling on e-commerce, right? Come on. No way, right? They, they give you this look like you're nuts, right? Like, I got into crypto. I lost money doing crypto. Um trying to trade crypto. I was up big and I lost. I just got greedy and I just didn't know what the hell I was doing, frankly. Um, I still think you can make money doing that, but I ain't messing with it. I'm trying to build a real business here. And I'm just saying, find what motivates you. If you guys really want to do this, find out what motivates you. Um, I have a lot of reasons to be motivated. And a lot of them are just for, you know, don't have to do the daily grind. But a lot of, I, too, I have, I have like a deep-seated, I think, uh, I think, you know, I don't want to fail. I, I, I don't want to fail. I need to, sur I need to survive. I need to do this because the alternative is go back to work and I guess it's not the worst fate in the world, but then I'm doing something. I'm getting up every day and I'm just doing something that can get very monotonous. And it's not that I hate my job. I have a great ball. I have a great owner, a great boss, and I'm blessed to have my job. I'm not saying that anything against that. I'm saying it's just not my dream. My dream is to do my own business, do my own thing, but it's it's a ton of work, and um, I know you guys can do it. I believe you can do it, but you've got to want it. You've got to uh, deep down, you've got to want to do this. This isn't something that uh, is just going to be given to you. That's it's true of anything that's worth anything in life, right? So I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, please give me some comments. Uh, I know a couple of you said you were launching your products. Um, let me know how it's going. Are, are you guys doing okay there? Um, I, I'd like to get into more detail about PPC and such. My biggest hang-up is I don't want to go into my account information and do that. I mean, if I could do it on somebody else's account, that would be awesome. Um, but I am still thinking about doing an ASIN launch service. Just been so busy. Once I get my virtual assistant trained and kind of does my day-to-day -day stuff, um, I think it will open up a lot more. I hope it does. My, my, the way I, my mind thinks, so. I'll just find something else to, to give me more to do. That's just the way I'm working. I'm always working. I'm always thinking. I'm always coming up with something else. Then I'll just get myself busier doing something else, you know? Like, it's crazy. I've been off, but I've been doing more while I'm off. I've been so busy. It's like I'm busier than when I was working. It's, it's, just, it's just nuts. But I enjoy it, and I love doing it because I'm doing it for me, and I'm doing it out of my home. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to flash those sales tonight. I know I was asked to do that. I don't have a problem with flashing my sales. I just can't do it when I'm on my phone, right? And if I do it on my computer, it takes forever to upload. It's a pain in the butt. Plus, I have to wait till my family goes to sleep. And the reason I can do it right now because they're out there playing. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to mess with that. And then I have to mess with thumbnails. It's just a pain. It's a pain in my ass, really. Um, but I'll do it. I'm, I'm not much of a YouTuber, but I'm I'm trying to become one because I'm trying to teach and I'm trying to help out and I can't do that if I don't have a platform or a following to do that so you know I want to help people out I want to I want to be a teacher I, it's something I was always interested in doing and I like helping people um, I want people to break through and kind of do what I'm doing now just because I'm making as much as I'm going to make this month well I'm going to quit maybe but can you live on 30 grand for the rest of the year you know what I mean like I, get, I still got to pay taxes. It's it's not like I just have that money. 
I can just go blow it, right? I still got to buy more inventory. Um, I did really well before, so I don't even know this year. Like, the thing is, if you make forty grand, you don't really necessarily make forty grand. What I mean is, like, your money goes in to buying more product. It goes into buying, you know, paying for a virtual assistant. It goes into your account. It goes into a lawyer that I pay for that I pay for every month. It goes into product research. Goes into software. It goes into all these things, and they're all write-offs too, which is great. But you may make more than you know you do at your regular job. But you be, you can write stuff off. I can write off my cell phone, right? I can write off my. I mean, I use it constantly for work. That's all I'm doing. My computer, internet connection. So there's so many things you can write off. That's a great part about owning a business, right? Like if you read like Rich Dad Poor Dad, <clears throat> if you can write this stuff off, it's 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 the beauty of it. Like you're using it anyway. But if you're using it for business purposes, then you can write it off. And then your you know, your your income is not taxed nearly as high. So that's why rich people don't pay taxes because they have these corporations and these businesses and they write everything off. So, you know, get educated, you know, figure it out, get educated, get a business, even if it's something small. Yeah, you know, write that stuff off. Talk to your account, see what you can and can't do. I'm not just telling you to blindly write everything off. But anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you can. I'd really appreciate it. I really would help me out. I know I like suck as a YouTuber. I'm not great. I don't have all these fancy pop up uh, thumbnails and all that stuff. But I'm gonna get into that. Uh, I just I've been concentrating so much on building my business that I haven't put enough time into the YouTube side of it. But I'm gonna start doing that because I want to start teaching. So I'm gonna start putting more time into that. Uh, I'm gonna put out a lot of free content that you guys can hopefully use and try to answer as many questions as I can. I'll continue to do that. Uh, I might just open up a Facebook group, uh, but I, I do still hang out on Savage Sellers, which is great. So anyway, guys, uh, I don't want to make this video too long, but I will check back with you guys tonight, hopefully, and do a video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover. I'd be happy to, uh, if I can. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. Have a great day. God bless.